Hello and welcome to another Philpot adventure. In this video, we're going to visit Capitola by the sea, eat some great food, we'll do some shopping at Pebble Beach, and we'll play a round of golf in Pacific Grove. Then we'll fly the drone over a shipwreck at Sea Cliff State Beach, and we'll have some more delicious food, some of it even in the RV. So what do you say? Let's go. Happy 4th of July weekend, everyone. This weekend, our son David wanted to come up and play some golf where we live here at the Villages in San Jose. This is a fantastic golf course, and it's a lot of fun to play, but it was going to be over 100 degrees, so we had to make some last-minute plans. We knew there wouldn't be much available last minute on a holiday weekend, so we went onto the Camp Spot app, and luckily we found room at the Santa Cruz County Fairgrounds RV Park. It was 30 degrees cooler here, even though it was less than an hour's drive from San Jose. This was a great place to camp, conveniently located and very reasonable in price. When we arrived, we saw that the Caballero Circus was in town and they were getting set up for the weekend. It was really cool to see the huge tent from the sky. The Santa Cruz County Fairgrounds is located in the town of Watsonville, California, and it hosts a variety of events throughout the year. There's a lot to do here, and they have some great exhibits to see. There's even a rose garden and an agricultural history museum to check out. After settling in at the RV site, we headed into nearby Capitola to scout out something good for dinner. We ended up finding the Britannia Arms Pub. The Britannia Arms Pub is a well-known British pub and restaurant here in Capitola. It offers a blend of traditional British food and American favorites in a comfortable and cozy atmosphere. The food was fantastic. After that great meal, we wanted to get some dessert, so we walked across the street to the Polar Bear Ice Cream Shop. Lil had the spumoni and I had the butter pecan with a big chunk of nuts in every bite. This was some of the best ice cream we've had in a very long time. Highly recommended. Good morning. We had a great night last night, got some good sleep. Today we're gonna go play some golf uh, at Pacific Grove. Um, Pacific Grove Golf Links, and apparently the uh, the same guy that designed Pebble Beach also designed this course, and we'd never played there before, so we're pretty excited about that. Our son David's going to come meet us. Um, we're going to meet first in Monterey, and then our, our tea time is at 4.20, so we're excited to go and uh, excited to take you along with us, so let's go. We decided to revisit the London Bridge Pub for lunch. Great food, by the way. And while we were there, we talked about what we wanted to do before our tea time. It was unanimously decided that a visit to Pebble Beach was in order. The first place we stopped was the Visitor Center. Believe it or not, this was the first time any of us had visited the Pebble Beach Golf Resort.
This place is so beautiful and huge. Here at the lodge, there are about a dozen shops selling clothing, jewelry, souvenirs, and other high-end merchandise. Right in front of the lodge, like a glorious front lawn, there was an immaculate putting green. Makes me wish I would have brought my putter. The last stop on our Pebble Beach visit was the pro shop called The Heritage. After that, it was nearing our tea time, so off we went to the Pacific Grove Golf Links. Opening on May 9th, 1932, the Pacific Grove Golf Links was a nine-hole course designed by U.S. amateur champion H. Chandler Egan. And then in 1960, well-known California golf course architect Jack Neville appeared before the Pacific Grove Rotary Club. Neville had famously paired with Douglas Grant to create the Pebble Beach Golf Links. He proposed the addition of a seaside nine to complement the existing nine-hole course. This back nine would be created much the same way the historic courses in Scotland and Ireland were designed. Now I've heard that this course has been called the Poor Man's Pebble Beach. I don't really care what you call it, but I'm so grateful that we had the opportunity to play it. Well, this round ended much too quickly, but we had the time of our lives. We'll definitely be back. Good morning, everyone. It's a new day. Let's do lunch with some of Lil's delicious grilled cheese sandwiches made right here in the RV. We had totally planned to go to Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk, but because this was a last minute plan on a holiday weekend, we were able to switch gears with a visit to Seacliff State Beach. We wanted to grab some dinner before going out to catch the sunset. We ended up finding this great Italian restaurant called Chianti's Pizza and Pasta Bar. The food was wonderful. And, as the name implies, we had delicious pizza and pasta. After dinner, it was time to head out to Seacliff State Beach. The cost to get in is $10, and the gate attendant said it had been packed all day. I'm so glad we were fortunate enough to get there when it was much less busy. Seacliff State Beach is located in Aptos, California, within Santa Cruz County. It's renowned for its long sandy beach and the famous concrete ship, the SS Palo Alto, which is permanently docked at the end of what used to be a pier. The SS Palo Alto was built by the San Francisco Shipbuilding Company at the U.S. Naval Shipyard in Oakland, California. It was launched on May 29, 1919, too late to see service in the war. 
The ship was bought in 1929 by the Seacliff Amusement Corporation and towed to Seacliff State Beach. There it was turned into an amusement ship with entertaining amenities including a dance floor, swimming pool, and a cafe. In February 2016, winter storms pushed the wreck onto its starboard side and broke the rear half open. On January 21, 2017, another winter storm tore the stern off the ship, and then five years later on January 5, 2023, Yet another storm destroyed portions of the pier leading to the ship. The pier was closed and soon after permanently removed. What remains today is a ghostly reminder of a bygone era. Well, that about does it for our time here. We sincerely hope you've enjoyed this video, and thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, we would so much appreciate it if you would click the thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe to our channel. As always, stay tuned, and we'll see you on the next Philpot adventure. Do you hear what I hear? Yes. We're at the Santa Cruz County RV Park with the Caballero Circus right up the road, right there. Sounds like they're in the ne next RV. <laughs> what, they got trumpets? Yeah, those are trumpets. You know, it is... Uh, <laughs> it's after 10 o'clock at night <laughs> and we're getting inundated with the trumpets <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we're going to be able to sleep mm -hmm. you can't make this stuff up <laughs> this is real <laughs>